Hey guys, it's Dallas Schilling from the Two Hour Circle and we have finally made it to more through the wind and the rain and all that sort of stuff. But you know what they say in the classics? The show must go on. So I'm here with the brand new Pro Drive Suzuki. Uh, it's a manual. A little bit later on today, I'm going to give you a full tour of this vehicle. Scooters just over there, as promised, my 1750cc Harley Davidson Road Glide for, for, performed beautifully in the wet today. We are here to kickstart the economy of this tiny little town and uh, and get things moving. I'm just going to jump out of the way of this little car here. Comes on through. So we're going to try some burgers. We're going to try some coffee. Uh, there's restaurants and cafes all the way up and down the street. Come and check us out. The Pro Drive Suzuki has a boot full of official two hour circle merchandise. The man behind the camera's had a bit of a look. What do you reckon? Looks flash? Looks pretty flash. Flash is a rat with a gold tooth if you get some of that gear. We'll check in with you later on in the day. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, it's Dallas here and we're still here at Moore. And I've jumped into, just bumped into a gentleman by the name of Anthony. That's me. From Chili Sweet. And he's just going to give us a quick 30 second rundown on his product. Now I've tried the pumpkin one uh, on a burger here at Moore. And uh, I'll just hand it over to you. Jump in mate, anytime. Sweet as. Well first off, got me mango, real creamy, beautiful mango sauce. Got a bit of kick with the habaneros in it. Italian salad, it's essentially chili pizza and garlic bread in a bottle. Put it on a pizza base, bit of cheese. You got a pizza. Pimp pumpkin, real velvety, creamy pumpkin hot sauce with all the green peppercorns and stuff in there. We have our award winning sauce we got Uber swag. Just got made it second best chili sauce in the whole of Australia and New Zealand by the Mr. Chili Awards. Get on it. We got our chili chocolate dessert sauces. We got orangey tasty. Halle Berry and mocha pino. All use jalapenos in these, very mild in spice, packed full of flavour. Outstanding. So I'm going to have a crack at uh, a couple of these sauces today and I will probably even chuck a little bit of sauce on one of these burgers. All right, buddy, nice to meet you. See you again soon. Thanks, guys. All right, so Tim has just brought out the official two hour circle burger. It's got some kick to it because if you look to one side there, it's got the mean mango and the Italian stallion chili sauce uh, on the burger. So if you like to spice things up a little bit, come out to more and order yourself an official two hour circle burger. Yeah, uh, two hour circle burger. I'm going to into it right now. Alright oh, Terry, let us. Oh, more than a mouthful. Oh. So there you go, Terry's here in his official two hour circle t-shirt. He's just tried the two official two hour circle burger. And he's, it's got a bit of bite. Got a bit of a sting to it. it certainly has, it's got a nice tail to it. Whoa. All right, so if you like to spice things up a little bit, come on out to more and ask for a two hour circle. Highly recommended by Terry himself. Highly recommended. Thanks buddy. Uh, our mate over here behind me has already tried the burger. He reckons it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna take the knife out of here. I don't reckon we need a knife and fork. We're gonna give it a good squeeze. Oh, look at all that sauce. Beautiful, here we go. As so they never work with children or animals, or tomato. Whoa, that is damn good. That is so, so good. A nice kick to it, but not too much. Tons of flavor. Uh, it, it's really uh, like a Wurtz burger with an extra kick, but so fresh and so, so good. And you can only buy these at Tilly's Cafe. Add more. See you around the traps. signal out here is really really weak but if you just come out to this little stone just out here let's see if I can there you go so this is the spot you come to just try and get down there there we go this is the spot you come to if you want to get a mobile signal it's the only spot in more where you can actually get uh, an internet signal little tip that uh, might help you if you're out here at more trying to send an sms or something 
Okay, so as promised, I was going to try and give you a bit of a tour of the new Suzuki. So, as we jump in the passenger side of the vehicle, you'll notice on the floor there, there are pedals. So, just the same as on the driver's side, clutch, brake, throttle. So, clutch, brake, throttle. Steering wheel, so a student would sit on the driver's side of the car and I, my good self, would sit over here and still have complete control of the vehicle. We are just inside of uh, Chili's Cafe. Tim, behind the counter, he's working like a blue ass boy today. So you had a couple of staff pull the pin on you early this yeah, morning. Yeah, couldn't quite make it in, so. <laughs> mate, you have you, you, you've handled it like an absolute trooper, mate, and your food's been coming out fast and hot, and uh, we congratulate you for it. No so, worries. Mate, mate, glad you joined. Yeah, <laughs> mate, you're going to introduce us to the owners of the Stone House a little bit later on. Yes, certainly are, mate. I've been talking to John and Loretta at the Stone House just outside, uh, just outside town. Yep. Um, which was a. Uh, it was actually coach stop. There was actually no passengers, but it was actually a, uh, a horse swap for the, uh, the mail and kind of almost package run that used yep. to go from uh, the back of Ipswich to, uh, at that stage, the Nango. So it was, it was kind of like a, a so, train place. Uh, so in place, they, they didn't do a lot of uh, passenger um, travel. Most people actually went back to Brisbane on bullets with the, with the timber. So right. uh, must have been an awfully uncomfortable ride. Four days from here to Whipswich um, to on the bullet, <laughs> <laughs> the bullet train with the log. So, um, so yeah, so Colin Koenig never actually officially did the, did the run. It was a like, sort of local fellas by the yep. name of Ned, who actually looks remarkably like Dallas on the other edge of this phone. On the other so side of the camera. It could, be, it could be a relation here, mate. That's maybe why he's come to more. All right, well, we'll check that out a little bit later on when the opportunity presents and we'll yeah, scoot no on down and have a look. All right, you keep going and I'll Too talk to you soon. Catch, he moves so fast I struggle to keep up with Sorry. him on the camera. <laughs> look at him, he's all over the place. He can almost waltz behind him. <laughs> Give us a quick waltz, mate. The yeah. Set, mate. Beautiful. <laughs> hey guys, it's Dallas from the Two Hour Circle, but you already knew that. So we've had some lunch. We've enjoyed the hospitality of the little town. So now we've come to explore a little bit of the history. So I'm here with John, who is the new owner of what used to be Tavern and the Inn. That's this building here, which is kind of um, demolished, but that was due to a stick of dynamite, I believe. Apparently so, yes, yeah. yes. So the bloke that owned it originally had a bit of a stash with the council, couldn't win, so he went, you know what, I'll just blow the place up, which is exactly what he did. And you've had to tidy up the mess. Yeah, well, starting to at least anyway, yes. Well, I can't wait to see you. Do you mind if we keep in touch with you and keep in touch with the progress? Yeah, no, I believe so. What you got down there? Yeah. So there are three buildings here. So this was the tavern in the end, and then yep. behind us is... Be so that was the tea room, pantry. tea room and pantry, and then over to this side was the butcher shop, the store, or the butcher and store. The butcher shop, the timber one over alongside of it. Okay, so we'll get some photos of that um, and uh, and put those up for you. So what we've done is we've put together a compilation of some Facebook stuff, and later towards the end of the week, if I get time, we'll try and put together a full compilation of today's activities and put it up on YouTube for you. So how long have you been working on the project? Uh, probably about two years now. I two years. So, yeah. Now, I understand that the council has taken a fair quantity of the original stone, so how are you dealing with that? Uh, well, initially it's trying to find how far we can get through this building here anyway, yep. how much damage has been done from the explosion, Yep. Uh, and then go from there. But the building was actually built with rut or pro with stones that were actually mined on the property, right. just up through the ridge there. Wow. So worst comes to worst, I would imagine that uh, through the Heritage Department we would be able to resource stones from up through there and utilise them back down here. So the beauty of that is that most of the stone, even though some of the original stone was sort of procured by the council, um, most of the stone should be, or new stone should be able to be sourced right here on the property, which is essentially where the original stones came from anyway. We're gonna get some photos. We'll put the whole lot together for you. Watch out for this part of the video on YouTube. Catch up with you shortly.
Well, boys and girls, that's more. We've had a fantastic day. Do take the time to come out and visit more. It's not far from Esk. It's an hour and 17 minutes or an hour and a half from Ipswich. Make sure you pop out and explore what we like to call the two hour circle. And I'll see you around the trap somewhere, guys. Bye for now.